Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to do a custom control in WPF. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. I've got a window um, that I'm going to go ahead and put a list box in. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a folder to put our custom controls in. Um, it's good practice to do things like that if you're going to have multiple, even though in this video we're just going to have one. So we're going to do controls, and then inside there we're going to add a new item. We're going to be adding a WPF user control. Um, we're going to call this my list box. If I could type today, it would be great. My list box item. All right, we're going to make this kind of a long view just to work with here. All right, what I'm going to do in this one is just add a button and then a text box. Um, so something really, really simple to work with just to kind of give you an idea of what happens here. So we're going to add a little uh, column definition there. Then we're going to put in a button. And then we're going to add our text box on the other side. All right, for this demo, we don't care about any of the properties of the button except the name. So let's go ahead and just clear everything out and the name we'll keep. We'll call it BTN click. All right, and then with the text box, we're going to do the same exact thing, except we're going to keep the grid column because we want it to stay on the uh, on the right hand side. And then let's call this one TB text. Doesn't really matter. Okay, so there goes our custom control. If we go ahead and rebuild our product, our project here, rebuild. All right, now we can get down to implementing the custom control. So the first thing we need to do is add the XML namespace. So XML NS, and let's call it controls. And then we just have to add the reference to our controls folder, which is going to be right there. All right, now we're ready to add our controls to the list box. So let's go ahead and under the list box, let's go ahead and open up controls. My list box item. Let's go ahead and set its width property to 300. All right, and you can see there's our control right there. And we can go ahead and add in, you know, a couple more. It just duplicates that code. All right, let's go one step beyond this and let's add a property to our custom control to set the text property of the button itself. So to do that, we want to open up the code behind the custom control. And we're going to add a property be a public property. In this case it's going to be a string and we'll call it button text. All right, so under the get method, we are going to return the button click content. All right, and then under the set, we're going to set the button content equal to the value that's being passed. Sorry about all the typos. Okay, so that's basically it. We save that. We go back to our main window. Let's just rebuild. And now there's a property called button text. And if we set that property to whatever we want, we can see immediately the button content changes. So All right, that's it. In the next video, we're going to go ahead and delve a little bit deeper into this. We're going to look into setting, you know, the uh, default properties. We'll look at some interaction between the form and the custom controls and interaction in between multiple controls and uh, things like that. All right, hope you liked it.